So I'm just using the handle of my hammer, just kind of gently remove it. And then remove all of the bolts attached to the uh, cam covers. And make sure you keep the cam covers in order. And remember which way they are facing as well. You'll notice that there's a small arrow on each of the cam covers, and that arrow faces out of the motor. So it faces out to the side of the motor. And I'm using large channel locks here to just gently rock forward and back the uh, cam cover until it pops off. And again, make sure you keep the cam covers in order. You need to put them back in the exact same spot. So here I have them all lined up on the garage floor. Now from the factory, the uh, outside piece here, which holds the oil in, is sealed with RTV. So you need to remove any of the stuck-on RTV so you have a nice clean spot to put the, uh, the cover back on when we're done. So here I'm removing the stock cam. And then take off the oil seal from the stock cam, put it on the new cam. Just inspect it to make sure it doesn't have any cracks or anything. And then liberally put oil on the all the shiny parts of the new cam. The oil here is just going to lubricate it for the first few seconds until there's oil pressure in the motor. You can also use assembly lube. And then before putting the cam back in, make sure all of the rockers are on and lined up. If any fall off, uh, usually they don't go too far down inside the motor. You can just uh, grab them with needle nose pliers, fish them out, stick them back on. No real problem. And then make sure you have the dowel pin on the cam straight up. Same way you took it off. And then here I'm removing the rest of the RTV, which is stuck onto this outside cover here. At the factory, they just kind of slop it on, so it's usually pretty heavy. You don't need to get too carried away, just, uh, just get as clean as you can, and then put on another uh, thin coat. So I'm using Permatex Ultra Gray RTV. Uh, it's not all that critical. You just use a tiny bit on the outside edges here. We don't want to get any down inside the shiny part, the actual bearing surface. So I'm just using a tiny amount. And you only have to use this on the on the one outside piece which covers the oil seal. And then put a small dab on the head itself, right adjacent to the uh, rubber oil seal. And then just reassemble the cam covers, put the bolts back in. We're going to just put them in pretty loosely for now. And then use a torque wrench and tighten them down to 20, 25 foot-pounds of torque, evenly. Now on the exhaust cam, there is a cam angle sensor. So what you have to do is remove this triangular plate. What I usually do is I don't remove it all the way. I just take off the top two bolts and then loosen up the bottom bolt and slide the triangular cover down. And then you can get access to the 12 millimeter bolt, which bolts into the end of the cam here. You can see I'm pushing the cam angle sensor back out of the way. So you just pull the exhaust cam out. And uh, it's the same as we did on the intake cam. We transfer over the oil seal. We get all the rockers lined up. We put the cam back in. And then I'm lining up the cam angle sensor here, putting it back into that little spline slot, and then putting the bolt back in. Once everything is reassembled, I still have the valve cover off. And what I'm going to do here is jack up the car and turn the wheel all the way to the right so I can get access to the crank pulley. And then I'll use a half-inch drive socket extension, and it just fits right into the end of the crank, which you can see is exposed there. And it'll be kind of hard to turn, but uh, make sure you take it out of the gear first. And just crank the engine through uh, one or two full rotations. You want to make sure that there's no uh, binding anywhere. 
it should turn relatively easily throughout the entire uh, rotation. And then I uh, just put the valve cover back on, and uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. I reassemble everything the way it came off. You'll notice at this point I've removed the zip ties, and I've also removed the tensioner tool from the timing belt area. So now that everything checks out mechanically, I want to just put a little bit of RTV. This is going to go on the rubber oil seal, just the half moon shaped parts of the timing, or the uh, rocker cover.